Greetings, thank you for joining me here at the Goulet Pen Company. Today, I'm going to answer the question, is this flex pen a true modern flex pen? In order to do that, I've decided the best thing to do would be to contact the governing body who is in charge of establishing the actual accreditation procedures for flex nib recognition. Sadly, such an organization does not exist. So it's really up to anybody to call a slightly bouncy nib a flex nib. We just decide whether or not we want to argue about that. Traditionally, a flex nib refers to a nib that bends and then has a spread in its tines that create line variation. Yay. But also, who's to say that a nib that just flexes up and down that doesn't have a lot of spread isn't also a flex nib? I mean, it flexes. Anyway, I've got 10 fountain pens here with me today and I'm going to write with them all and then score them based on bounce, spread, and ink output using my own proprietary scoring rubric. First up is the Diplomat Magnum. It's a steel nib, but it's got a little bit of bounce to it. But does it flex? All right, the little nib on the Diplomat Magnum. It's steel, but for this pen, it has a surprising amount of bounce. Oh! All right, I overstressed it too much on the muffins. Too many muffins, guys. All right, so you can see that for a tiny steel nib, this is unique. Usually, steel nibs, not flexy. Small nibs, not flexy. But look at this! You're bouncing! You are bouncing there. So even if you're not getting a ton of line variation, you might just want a more comfortable writing experience. But look at that. That's kind of crazy, right? For such an affordable pen, having a more bouncy writing experience can just be a win in the comfort zone. All right, I think it's very clear to everybody watching that the Diplomat Magnum has officially scored three hedgehogs and half a taco. Congratulations, little buddy. Okay, moving on. We've got the Noodler's Conrad Flex Pen. Flex Pen. All right, we've got the Conrad nib here. This is an old faithful, one of my old favorites. Oh, little skip there. Happy, uh oh, didn't really do a good muffin on that one. That's a little weird end. So, a little bit of a skip there, and yeah, that's gonna happen from time to time, and I probably overflexed it. Doing okay here, though. Oh, another funky H. All right, so ink output on this, maybe not the best, but I really do love this nib and it's super affordable as well. So there you go, that's a more realistic representation of the type of line variation you can get. Uh, you don't get a lot of balance, but you do get a lot of spread. Oh, railroading, there we go, that's better, that's better. Don't overstress it or you will get railroading like that, but look how it, much it opens. So it definitely has some good spread. You do have to push it kind of hard though. So from the comfort standpoint, not the best, but it certainly is fun and pretty great for artists. All right, and that's the Conrad. So I think it's fair to give this one four T-Rexes. Okay, one of my favorites, the Pilot E95S. Not a flexy flexy pen, but a bouncy-ish pen. Let's find out exactly how bouncy. Okay, so the E95S isn't really considered to be super bouncy or super flexy, but it does bounce a little bit, so I wanted to include it. Look at that. You get a little bit of line variation just on your downstrokes, but um, it does start off really thin when you're using an extra fine E95S, and you do get a little bit of variation. In my opinion, just the right amount for normal handwriting. If you wanted to just add a quick flourish on something, um, you know, you do get a bit of line variation to make it a little bit more fun and exciting. A little fun bouncy bounce. All right, the Pilot E95S has been evaluated, and it has earned three toothbrushes and two hammers. Definitely, right? It's fair. All right, the next pen I have, the pen isn't as important as the nib. This is the Peniter Alchemist, but on it is the Peniter Quill Nib. They call this thing a Hyperflex. Definitely not a Hyperflex. Maybe it is, I don't know. Let's check it out and see. Look at that nib. This is one of the best looking nibs on the market today, in my opinion. I love it. It's just pretty. So this is the Quill Nib. You can be finding this on a number of different Peniters. Right now I have the Alchemist, but uh, it's all about the nib, right? Oh man, see these muffins are happy because they're using this nib. Super wet though, oh my God. But yeah, you can go super thin if you want and then boof, boof, boof. 
this nib bounces a lot. Look at this. Whoop, whoop. Let me see if I can get a better angle here. So this one, not super, not a ton of spread, but definitely some bounce. You can see the metal reflecting when it moves like that. So this one definitely opens up uh, bounce wise, but the spread, not a ton, but I think a lot of that has to do with just how wet this is and how much ink it's putting down. Still though, one of the most comfortable experiences around. Okay, that is Peniter's quill nib on the Peniter Alchemist in this case. I think that it is indisputable that uh, this could score anything less than two potatoes and three rainbows. All right, this is an interesting one. Here I have the Noodler's Triple Tail Flex Pen. Triple tail. This one's got a lot going on in the nibbage department. Let's take a look. All right, folks, here we are. It's time to talk about the Noodler's Triple Tail. This thing is gonna pour out ink. I just want you to be ready for it, all right? It might scare you. Oh my God. Okay, this is fun. This is fun, but good Lord, look at that ink. That is a ton of ink. So this has two tines, as you can see. Three tines, two slits. It puts down a ton of ink, but it is also very bouncy. And look at that spread. It really opens up. Like that is insane. A little bit of, yeah, over overdid it there. You could definitely overdo it, or you could not. You can calm down a little bit, Drew and not go to nuts, but you kind of want to. Okay, there we go. But man, <laughs> look at this flow, it is insane. So a lot of bounce, a lot of spread, ink output, eh, a little questionable, but uh, if you don't go too far, it'll be just fine. Okay, the triple tail has officially been evaluated and it has earned one spoon and Saturn. All right, next up we have the Pilot 912, but the nib on this 912 is the FA nib, also referred to as the Falcon nib, but not the same as the Falcon, but the Falcon, the other Falcon nib. Anyway, let's check it out. The Pilot 912 with the FA nib. If I go thin, ooh, I got a big, big swoop there. That's very pretty. Happy muffins. That's right. So this is really nice. So as far as bounce goes, it is a very, bouncy nib. You can see that moving up and down and it does have great spread. Normally the line is very, very thin with some pressure, you get very, very thick. So you do have good bounce and good spread here. Definitely fun little skip there. So the ink output maybe leaves a little bit to be desired, but overall very, very nice pen. Nice, bouncy, flexy softness. Okay. That is the Pilot Custom 912 with the FA nib specifically. And this one has, I mean, it's indisputable, right? We all know that this has earned four women playing water polo. All right, next up, we are going to check out the Pilot Just Us 95, and it is a just a bull. Anyway. The Justice 95 is unique because it has this bar extending over the nib, and then it has this knob that you can turn. And when you turn that knob, it actually pulls that bar back to make the nib more soft. So let's test that out. So this is it in soft mode. So you've got some variation there between the uh, thin strokes and the heavier downstroke. So there's some variation there for sure. As far as bounce go, it is a pretty bouncy nib but it does not open up in the tines very much. It, it, it's enough to give you some variation, but uh, no, nah, not a lot. However, the ink is keeping up very nicely, so I do appreciate that. The flow is good. Very nice. All right, that was fun, right? I think that you and I can agree that this has officially earned, in terms of flexibility, two goats and a fire truck. No, two goats, one and a half fire trucks. Sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. And here we have the Platinum 3776. Specifically though, we're talking a 3776 with a soft fine nib. It has soft in the title. How soft is it? Let's write with it and see. All right, here's the Platinum soft fine nib. Let's give this a go. I don't see a ton of variation, but I will say, it is comfortable, it is very comfortable. You can see it bounce, so it's definitely got some bounce to it, but the tines are not opening up. This is a perfect example of a soft nib, but you can get some variation, look at that. 
So it is a very fine nib on its own with a little bit of balance, you can open it up a little bit, but I will say it's a very comfortable writing experience. If you just want to have a bouncy fun time, this is a good one to do it with. Now that all is said and done, the 3776 soft fine nib has officially been recorded as having earned three flans. All right, and we could not possibly make this video without talking about the Pilot Falcon Soft Extra Fine. All right, and the Pilot Soft Extra Fine Falcon. This is a very, very recognizable, very well-known bouncy nib. Ooh. The first thing I see is that the thin lines are very thin. So that is great because it does give you more variety. Even though this one isn't bouncing a ton, because it starts off so very thin, you can get a lot of variation. Now I could press it harder, but I'm not going to because I don't like to. It doesn't make me feel comfortable. I think that's beautiful. I'm having a great time with this. It is a pretty bouncy nib, as you can see here. It's definitely bouncing, um, but uh, the tines aren't opening a ton. But then again, you don't really need them to because the soft extra fine, which is what I have here, starts off with such a fine line. Any variation, I think, shows off a lot. And that wraps up the soft extra fine Falcon. And I don't, like I even need to say it, clearly this has earned three shrimp and three squirrels. I have with me here the Monteverde Innova, but that doesn't matter because what we're specifically going to be talking about is the nib on this Innova. That is the Yovo made Omniflex nib. Now this is an interesting nib, is it not? Now this color is unique to this particular nib, but uh, the Omniflex, this shape, that can be found on a bunch of different pens. So let's, let's just get started. This is a wet nib right now, my goodness. So you don't see a lot of variation here for sure because this is just a wet nib and it's putting down a lot of ink. So if I barely touch, still pretty thick, but then if I flex, I get a little bit of variation, not a lot, but it's still a very comfortable nib. In terms of bounce, it definitely, it definitely has some, but it's steel, so it's not gonna give you a ton of bounce, but you do see the tines opening up. Little bit of bounce, little bit of spread, um, but uh, yeah, not a ton, but it's still a fun writing experience and it's definitely comfortable. That's a cool looking nib, right? All right, either way, we're done evaluating this pen now and it is being recorded as having appropriately earned two Frisbees and half a penguin, obviously. Well, my friends, that is the kit as well as the caboodle. I hope you enjoyed seeing how these pens perform differently on paper. However, if you take anything away from this, let it be this. Soft nibs are going to perform differently based on you and everybody else. Everybody is going to have their own opinion and determining whether or not something is flex or soft or whatever, it really doesn't matter. It's gonna do what it does and if it's your thing and you like it, then great. Let's say if one company makes an extra fine nib, right? And then another one does the same thing. These extra fine nibs might not be the exact same width, but that doesn't mean that one of them isn't allowed to be called an extra fine. It just means that they're using a different scale, much like my very own advanced valuation system, which obviously was complete and total nonsense. So if you're in the market, enjoy any of these pens and the extra bounce that they will add to your writing adventure. And as always, you can check us out over at gouletpens.com for all of your writing needs. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you would like to see more videos like this one and leave a comment with your brain thinkings if you would like for me to reply to them because I'll see them, maybe I'll say something. Either way, have fun and write on.